Storyteller is a version control system that integrates with IDEs. There is an Eclipse plugin that communicates with the Storyteller server. It records all keystrokes, all deletes, all copy and paste, all file operations like copy, rename, move. There's no need to commit at arbitrary points because the entire history of the development team's work is stored and can be played back later. Here I'm entering in some text in the text editor. From the plugin, one can select some text and see the history of that code. The highlighted events and those in their immediate history are shown one character at a time in something called a playback. This is a playback interface. Note that events not marked as relevant are dumped to the screen in large blocks. This allows us to focus on only the user-defined interesting and important parts of the code. Playbacks work equally well in a web browser. Since there's no selected text in this case, we have to define a set of filters to highlight what's important. So first we choose a node from the tree. Not all coding history is interesting to watch, so a time filter allows us to choose time frames. All work done today, last week, last month. A document filter allows us to choose only certain documents. A developer filter shows only work done by certain developers. One can choose to hide characters that were added and then deleted under some number of seconds. This eliminates typos from a playback. And if you'd rather see whole words or whole lines during a playback, you can choose that option too. This is a playback of the simple code. There's a speed slider to control the speed that characters are added to the playback. One can pause the playback. And there are step controls to see one event at a time in either the forward or backward direction. You can see the developer who inserted the text at the time it was inserted. And there is a history slider to move through the playback. A clip records a playback. One can then write comments about the playback. These comments can be used to create a narrative about why the developer is doing the things they're doing. These narratives can be shared among team members so developers can understand their systems and learn from each other. I'll add some comments about how the color of the fox has changed over time. So the fox started out as being brown. Then I'll move forward a bit and describe another change. Then the fox became red. Then he became a green fox. Now that we've stored the playback as a clip and added comments to the clip, we'll create a storyboard. Storyboard is a collection of clips that tell a story about some code. Clips are dragged to the storyboard pane to make a storyboard. We have only one here, but we could have many. Now we'll watch the storyboard as a playback. The playback is going to be paused when a comment appears. The fox started out as being brown. 
Then the fox became red. Then he became a green fox. This was a simple example. Now let's look at a larger one. This is some code that finds the nth root of a number. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of code, but it's not trivial either. I've already created a storyboard for this code. Now to make it easier to find storyboards, um, what one can do is highlight some code and choose to find any storyboards that have any of these events in them. And here we're going to find one, but there could be more storyboards that have some of these events. And now we're just going to watch the playback. And I'll narrate all the comments. The idea is to guess a number, square it, and see if we get lucky. We know the square root will be between 1 and the number. This sets up a range of values to look inside of. We'll pick a value in the middle of the range and square it to see if we get lucky. This is how we adjust the range. If the guess was too small, we make the lower bound larger. If the guess was too big, we make the upper bound smaller. This is very similar to how a binary search works. So what Storyteller allows developers to do is tell stories about their code. With these stories, developers can learn about their systems and how they evolved, and they can learn from each other.